All right. Hello, hello. Welcome to Thrifty Art Thursday. Let me make sure um, it's going where it needs to be going. So I'm broadcasting to my page, Lupa Carlson Artist, and I'm also broadcast broadcasting this to my YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel. So if you would like to uh, join me through YouTube, you absolutely can, and you are absolutely welcome. So today I'm painting the uh, uh, throw pillowcase. It's about, I think it's, I don't remember how many inches this is. I need to switch back to my uh, regular view so I can see what I'm showing you guys. Okay, so this is the cover. It's white, um, and I've transferred the design on it. That's my design, and I transferred it on, and it's uh, yellow. You can see that it's yellow, and my my setup's a little bit different. So, um, pretty hair, thank you. I got my hair cut today. And finally, you know, like this, it was a lot of hair. So. Um, I was going to paint a garden flag, but uh, Amazon and Amazon was supposed to deliver it to me last night, and today I got a notification that I won't see it until the 9th. So much for painting a garden flag today. So that's why we're painting a pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> throw pillow and uh we painted this towel this kitchen towel i painted it uh, last time it's like on the corner hold on let me it's also pretty big there i really i really like to show off what i what i did right so you can find uh this if you go to my website lubocarlson.com and then you click on the shop and then you scroll down to i think free downloads and printables you'll be able to find the design there and everything you need like all the supplies everything you need to, to do this so i'm just gonna do that i'm just gonna paint um so with this one i have two birds and a flower and i really want to make it uh, very much spring kind of I don't like that I have to go back and forth you know I kind of I kind of liked it when I was just looking up hold on let me try and see if I can I'm gonna oops am I still here yeah okay I'm gonna move my camera a little bit just a little bit so that i'm not sitting with my back to you i don't like it it doesn't look good right i can do this i can do this i can do this if i try it worked okay sweet all right sniffles because you know wind picks up here in texas and i get some allergic reaction to something else and um so yeah i went ahead and i got my hair done uh, haircut and uh, on the way home i got a text message from my husband telling me that my boys were celebrating the april's full uh, april full day and they had sprinkled black pepper and salt all over the house. They thought that would be a fun prank to do. And so I said, oh, and he, he texted me and he said, your children <laughs> um, uh, sprinkled black pepper all over the house. And I was like, okay, let's start with our children. And then I was like, are you kidding me for real? Like, did, like is it a trick? Are you pranking me right now? And he responds, no, <laughs> I am not actually pranking you. Like they, for real, went ahead and just put black pepper all over. So by the time I got home, they cleaned up most of their mess, but some of it is still, I still have a little of pieces of black pepper, pepper on my desk. I do not appreciate it, but oh well. You know? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna <laughs> sorry. 
uh, I can't because I unplugged my thing because I moved my computer and so my mouse doesn't work. Hold on. So this is, I'm a little um, frazzled because it's that. Oh yeah, and then I get back and then we want lunch and then we need help schooling because we have we have school to do and we've been waiting for me to come back and so I'm a little bit ah oh, not organized very well. Okay, give me one second to to do this. I'll blow my nose and I'll be right. All right, sorry about that. So let's begin. So I was thinking pretty colors. I was thinking spring. So what colors scream spring to you? What what colors? I was um, like my my go to. I really like any shape or sort of uh, turquoise. So I'm just gonna put that up there. Uh, definitely yellow. I definitely like some yellow. Uh, some sort of green, but I do not want a very dark green. So I think apple green sounds delightful. Tara! Hi Tara, how are you? Yes, definitely yellow. And I'm thinking I want some pink. Hmm. So I have this baby pink, but I don't know. I might go with, so this is called pink Cadillac. I'm showing and the camera is not even there. So I'm gonna go with that. Chun, chun, chun. Um, okay, I did the yellow outline because I'm gonna try and avoid the black as much as like, I don't want the black outline on my design. Ah, uh, Tara, good having an art day here too. Yes, yes, art days are so much fun. I love Thursdays for that. So I'm trying to think, you know what? If something comes up, uh, I will get it. You know what? I'm going to want my birds, though, some super bright color. Oh, well, I'll think about that. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. So I don't know if, uh, if you painted with me last time, if you know or you do not know. I use regular acrylic paints. Okay. Whoa, well, whoa, well, camera here. So I use regular acrylic paints, uh, mostly deco art. Sometimes I have... Uh, uh, folk art brand uh, for this, but mostly deco art. You can use any any acrylic paint for this will work. And I mix it. I mix it half and half with textile medium. Okay. So this is what I did with the towel, which I don't remember where I put it, but it's very soft and pliable, and it's 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 all good. I'm gonna mix. I'm going to uh, put the uh, textile medium in one element at a time. Uh, when I painted the towel, I kind of mixed all my colors ahead of time, and I did that, and I ended up using, uh, wasting quite a bit of paint. So I do not want to do that. So I'm going to start with my yellow for the center of my flower. Uh, the flower, even though it's pretty much shaped like a sunflower, hope it shows well. Oh, and this is the mishap in laundry. It happens to me all the time. That's why I don't do whites usually. Um, so what, what was I saying? Saying something. Oh, yeah, it's shaped like a sunflower in a way, but I'm going to paint it like something different. Something that I think looks different. Okay, look, let me grab, where's my, here. I'm gonna use my filbert. 
over the paintbrush. It's the one that with rounded corners. You can use any brush. You can use anything, anything. If you want to paint with sticks, you can even paint with sticks, you know, sticks and leaves. That's a lot of fun, especially when you do um, mixed media, which Tara here is a huge, like I, I love her work. I love her mixed media journals and like everything she teaches. So you're going to have to check her out. Hey, Tara again. Hi. <laughs> Plug in your Facebook page. Definitely plug in your Facebook page. You guys have to go check out her work. She's awesome and she teaches classes also. Oh, I did this. Dudes, I forgot. Okay. The most important part, Noel ish, because we do not want all this paint seep through. Okay, so I have, I use this. Just a cereal box, flatten, and I put a piece of uh, freezer paper on it, and then I use this to kind of sandwich, okay? So this goes in the layers of fabric because I do not want all of this to seep through, and yeah, chances are I'm going to have to fix this because I haven't measured it up to the size, but this will work. I think I caught it just in time. <laughs> yes, painted cicada. I can't think of, like, sometimes, I like, I, when I'm talking, I can think of uh, page names. Like, some, especially, like, when I'm doing live and I'm painting and uh, I'm like... Y'all, <laughs> let me tell you about my page. I don't remember what the name of it is, but you know, you get, you know, you get it. You catch the drift, right? So anyway, I am simply painting the center yellow. And I really like this method because uh, I can always come back and add a little bit more paint on top if I need to shade or I need to add some elements to it. It all works. It works just like regular acrylic painting. Like you can just do this on fabric. And I think it's magnificent that we can do this on fabric. Okay. Do you think I'm completely off that... Tara says, you make it easy, we just have to remember your name. Yeah, but my name, you know. My last name is easy, but my first name is not so easy for everybody. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, I'm thinking I want to do the flower. I want to paint the flower, and I want to do the center pink and the tips of the petals, I want to do them turquoise. Do you guys think it's a completely, am I completely off? Am I like totally, a total nuts? Of course I'm a total nut. You guys know me. I do all these things all the time, but sometimes I would look back and I'd be like, uh, why did you do this? Like right now I'm looking, why did they not plug in my phone? I know that when you have 40% left on your phone, go into, uh, into live broadcast, you probably want a little bit more than that, right? So plug it in. Oh well. Is it Alice that always gets caught with me? Used to get caught with me like last well, this year at the beginning when I would lose power in the middle of my life. <laughs> Tara's auntie's name is Luba. Ah, interesting. How interesting. Right, Alice? Yes, you remember. And I remember that after that happened a couple of times, Alice would pop in and she'd be like, Luba, did you plug in your phone? <laughs> that was kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to mix. Pre-mix, right? Pre-mix. So here's my pink. 
and a little bit of textile medium. I keep forgetting, you know, I keep forgetting that if I add something to it, I get more paint. Yes. Uh -huh. You skip all of these. Nope. Nope. May not skip work. Nope. Why not? Because, dude, he keeps trying to, um, you know, to get some. To, to not do some some of his math. He keeps coming back to me and asking me, can I skip this? Can I skip that? And I'm like, nope. I mean, dude, you had time to put salt and pepper on my desk. <laughs> Probably if you weren't that busy, you would have had time to complete, finish your work. I know, I'm a mean mommy. Yes, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna do the center pink and then the, um, yeah. Don't put your hands in the wet paint, Luba. Yes, and the tips I'm gonna make, um, uh, Uh, turquoise. Well, they're not turquoise, really. The color is called Sea Breeze by Deco Art. But yeah, we're gonna do that. That's gonna be fun. <sighs> okay, so it sounds like I'm not gonna get my garden flag until nothing like for next one, for the next uh, Thrifty Thursday either. Also, I'm gonna have to uh, wait and do something else. So if there's anything that you think would be a great idea, I would totally appreciate it because I kind of liked um, redoing a couple of things from the thrift store and that was fun but then at some like at a certain point it really stops being thrifty if you know what i mean because you need this and that and there's it requires lots of sometimes it requires a lot of additional elements so yeah I'll appreciate if you guys have ideas and you can and you would share your ideas with me. Okay. Yep, it's getting where I want it to be. So um we all know that fabric is thirsty, so just kind of Keep that in mind when you paint. Be prepared that it's going to soak it up. I think I'm going to need more pink than I have here. For this, this is a good size, good size flower. And you know what I want to try? I never tried that, so I want to try and once it's dry, I'm going to try and add uh, highlights and some like fine lines with my Posca markers. Not, ma not too many, just a few to see if it works. And I'm going to wash it and see and see if it works because, well, if, if we can do that with Posca markers, like do the main coat, and then go in with markers, ooh. Tara says, one thing I like to do is just get a composition book for a few dollars and paint the color. It makes a beautiful journal. Your flowers would look so nice as journal covers. Probably, yeah, I like that. 
That's fun. That sounds like fun. Oh my gosh, my latest uh, people in my free group know I, I kind of went crazy with that. Um, I add watercolor doodles to my planner. Y'all, this is so much fun. No, I get it. Tara, I get it. I can't type fast. You know, I type, type fast and like <laughs> letters missing, different words pop up. It's crazy. So yeah, don't don't ever apologize. At least at least here with me, don't ever apologize. If you mistype anything, you guys, I get it. I think I I can understand what you were saying. So yeah. Yeah, so I went totally crazy with that and it was so much fun. And um, I'm gonna, by the way, by the way, by the way, if you guys would like to try and spruce up your planner, go to my page, there is an event uh, that we're doing. I'm gonna be doing this, but that's gonna be very different from uh, what you guys are used to. So I'm going to be doing this in a room, Facebook room, in my um, in my free group, the Paint with Luba group. Okay. So the idea is that we'll get together and we can spend time together while everybody is working on their planner or journal. And there is no recording. So we can definitely, well, we're more than, like everybody's more than welcome to, to share what they painted, but there will be no recording or, you know, whatnots. So I think this, I think it's gonna be fun. We shall see. Uh, we're gonna do this at eight o'clock uh, central on Sunday, and I know it's Easter Sunday, and for some of us it might be very busy, a very busy day. But I figured about eight o'clock, we all still need to kind of unwind and uh, maybe get ready for Monday, because Monday coming, no matter if it's a, and please don't, <laughs> this is not blasphemy, okay? But Easter Sunday or not, Monday's coming. <laughs> You know, uh, we're still gonna have to 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 be at work and you know have things done and get up in the morning and all of that. So I'm rinsing out my brush, wiping it on the paper towel. You know the works, the usual. Nothing, nothing unusual is happening here. Okay. So I kind of can um, deduct from here that I know how much paint I'm gonna need for the rest of my petals. So I'm just gonna try and give myself enough paint. Yeah. Okay, I have this, oh my goodness, I am a genius. Did you know that? Do you know I'm a genius? If you don't know that, now you do. Hold on, I'll tell you why. I will tell you why I am genius. Because I'm genius because I have these little um, tips, lids, fine point. They're called writer, something or other, I don't remember. So much help, so helpful, right? They're called writer, something or other. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab my tool because they also have this seal on inside of them, so I need to pull that out. Okay, and I'm gonna put this onto my fabric medium thing, and ta da, look at that! No leaks anymore because it will go through this. And there's no no drips. Look, oh my gosh! And it like drops in, so I can look. No waste. I'm a genius. Okay. 
I announced myself a genius and I see the numbers on my, like who's watching me <laughs> started to drop. Is it so awful? <laughs> People can't stand it. It's funny. That's funny. I'm just trying to be funny, y'all. <laughs> That's it. I'm just mixing the fabric medium into my paint. I don't think this is a half by half. I think this is a lot more, um, I think I have a lot more acrylic paint in this mix than I have the fabric medium. But I'm sure it'll be fine because this is a, um, it's a throw pillow cover. So it'll be fine. Okay. Well. This is a super messy brush. I don't like doing that with a messy brush, but I don't want to waste paint. So I'm just going to go and do this and then I'm going to clean it up. Anyway. Okay, if you're watching your replay, that's for, for, for those who watch your replay, say hi. Um, or like just put the number two in the comments. So just let me know that you were here watching the replay. I like to tell you guys it is super helpful, super helpful to know that that you're watching and you're you're finding this interesting and and some sort of beneficial. So so yeah, I would love to hear from you if that's if that's the case. Okay, so so yeah, pretty much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it the full outline with turquoise. Oh, that went a little bit far. On one side, so that it's kind of a. I think this makes sense. I don't know. I kind of like it. Kind of not. <laughs> I'll see. Because if I've learned anything from my art experience, it is that uh, never, never judge your results like in the first half an hour of <laughs> when you're trying to do something. Like, be prepared that at first it might not look good. It, and when you know, in fact, it might look not so great. It might look bad. Just don't give up and keep going. And eventually you'll get to the point where it looks decent. Right? I think it applies to so many things in life. Like when we go to dance class for the first time, you know, we're not, we don't expect to be stage ready by the end of the first class, right? At least I find myself lucky that if I can breathe <laughs> at the end of the class and I'm not like oh, oh, painting. <laughs> Which really happened because when we get back to, um, I get back to my dance class in, uh, I want to say February, and I haven't taken any classes for a year. No, not a year. Wow. Eight to ten months. 
and was really like staying at home, working at my desk and whatever. Oh my gosh, that first class was brutal. But it got better. And yeah, so nobody, nobody expects that. So I don't think we should be expecting our art look perfect and wonderful when we just pick up the brush and start working on it. Hmm. I think I lost my camera and I don't know why. Huh. Hold on. I'm gonna finish this petal I was on and I'm gonna try to reconnect. I don't know what's going on. It always happens on Thursdays. Okay, let me try this again. It's not connecting. Oh, you have there better, right? Oh my gosh, you get to see the that shelf over here. It's all messy. Okay. So we don't need that microphone. Let's mute that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back. Let's see. And of course there is my volume that thinks that it needs to get back on. And of course, in all my mess, I've lost my mouse. Oh, there it is. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's turn this more here. There we go. Keep working on that. Hopefully it won't kick me out again. We'll see. Yes, so I continue with my idea of turquoise petals with pink. I'm going to add some um, shading and some highlights. So this is, this is not the final view, okay? This is just the beginning. I am pretty sure I won't be able to finish this in one sitting with you guys because this will take much longer than 40 minutes. It's it's a good size, good size piece. And there's some elements that, that might require a little bit more work, which is fine. I just want everybody to have realistic expectations. Just like that. Oh yeah, and just like with uh, just like with the towel, I'll upload the design to my website. I completely forgot to do this. I kind of, I spaced out. Honestly, I just spaced out. But I will do that. And so like, if you want to paint the same design, you can get it from off of my website for free. Guys, I love ya.
also this would look pretty cute very cute on the canvas if um if you would want to paint something like that on a canvas of course you can use your own colors and you can do whatever you like it's kind of I look at tracers as a vehicle to help you get there. But I think I think uh, tracers take off a lot of pressure from you because it's really um, it can be stressful when you think. I'm going back to here because. I can see that the paint didn't get through where I needed to be. Uh, because it's a lot of pressure that we can put on ourselves painting, especially when we think like we have expectations and stuff. And I believe painting and drawing are two different things. You don't have to be able to draw to be able to paint. Does that make sense? Okay, y'all. So I'm just going to finish the petals here. And I'm going to log off. I'll continue painting. Because I'm gonna need to this to dry, uh, since I haven't um, I haven't measured my liner underneath. So I'm gonna need this to dry so that I can move things around a little bit. Um, uh, I'm gonna kind of do this messy uh, brush in thing here, just to kind of play with that. And I think I'm good. Oh, yeah. So I'm good with that <laughs> for now. All right. So that's the beginning. We'll see how long it's going to take me to get there. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. I hope you stay artsy and do artsy things. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this, and I'll see you some other time. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you're still watching, if you're still watching, uh, this Saturday I am not having the uh, paint um, Saturday paint Saturday paint night live. Okay, not this Saturday. I'm taking the Saturday off. But other than that, I'll see you. See you other some other time. Okay. Bye.